So why do you think all these sex cases and oh, people like Epstein and Jimmy oh, Savile right. are allowed inside Buckingham Palace or allowed to be around? Well, you think, you, you, at the end of the day, they can have who they want. The bottom line is they can have who they want in. You know what I mean? We can't tell them not to have people. It's like Prince Andrew going to see Epstein. Now, he's a convicted paedophile. Now, my issue with that is, and, and you'd say the same, if one of your friends, where he's abroad, you found out they'd done this and he just got out of jail for it. You'd ring him up and say, delete my number and fuck right off and put the phone down. You wouldn't travel 3,000 miles and then spend three days to say goodbye to him, would you? You know? And that was a big issue because he's a senior member of the royal family. Why the fuck was he allowed? Or, or, or why did he make sure that he was able to go and visit this individual? Because there'd have been a lot of security checks in place for him. You know, you'd have... Uh, the, the the travel we've got like a, a section within royal protection that deals with all the travel for roles and all the rest of it so they will liaise with local police wherever they go and make sure they know where the local hospitals is the local police stations just if there was an emergency same with if they go abroad he's a senior member of the royal family therefore he, wherever he goes needs to be vetted he needs to know where he's going who he's going to visit so they can contact the local police they can do the checks on the premises to make sure it's not owned by the fucking mafia or Russian state or anything like that where it could be bugged and cameras um, and they'd, che and they'd obviously check out it was coming back to, to Epstein and obviously they'd say that he's coming to visit Epstein and it would flag up it would say but he's a convicted felon you do know that and they'd go back to Rory and they'd say uh, yeah, yeah, um, sir do you do know and he's it, obviously gone I'm going he's obviously gone against advice for whatever reason that is there's obviously something there that he was frightened was going to come out or Epstein was going to say about him and that's why he's gone otherwise there's no good reason that the excuse he came up with it was absolute tosh you know there's something what it is i don't know but he's worried about epstein had, had knowledge of something he's, he, he'd done because I, i've spoke to a few people when we talk about touch on the craze who listen what yeah. roughly fucking nonsense as well that yeah but they had information on politicians that's why they never get sent to prison until mm. somebody burned the evidence and then mm. they end up getting life sentence as far yeah. as i'm aware yeah do you think epstein had something on prince andrew where potentially he tried to keep him yeah. sweet because epstein would have been a mass manipulator yeah like i say andrew's not the, the smartest tony shed do you think epstein's been feeding him women possibly maybe not girls maybe just women yeah, partying I mean, and he's got yeah. video footage or because if you're on that island yeah. Yeah, with yeah. clintons and mm. woody allens and mm. high up profile yeah. names like yeah listen a lot of people might have just been thinking free holiday or mm. whatever mm. but there was rumours of Epstein way back in the seventies. I think he was a math teacher and he was mm. being inappropriate with young girls. So it was always there, same as Jimmy yeah. Savile. There was always rumours there. I think yeah. uh, Johnny Rotten outed him away back mm. in the nineties. I think they'd done an mm. interview. But do you think Epstein had something over Prince Andrew? Pot potentially. I mean, that's how it appears to be for the way Prince Andrew has acted by going to New York to visit him. You know what I mean? To do that and, and obviously the shitstorm that was created out of that visit. To do that, there must have been something Prince Andrew was worried about. Any logical person, if you, you always say, would a reasonable person do this, that, and the others? Well, would a reasonable person go and visit a convicted sex offender? No, you wouldn't, especially in the position that this, this person was, a senior member of the royal family. You would not do it. You would be advised not to go. Mm -hmm. And yet he went. So, uh, you know, there is, there is definitely, I've always said he's got questions to answer, but he'll never have to answer them.